Hello, my name is Tommy Sands. Good to be back with you uh, this evening. I am cruising through Tennessee tonight on my way to Ohio. And uh, I was looking at Facebook earlier while I was uh, picking this load up and uh, noticed some comments, you know, that were, uh, you know, put on other, uh, other individuals' posts. One in particular, you, you know, just kind of got me riled up. And I thought, you know what, I, I'm just, I'm tired of stupidity. Uh, and that's why I put the heading there, crippled too high for crutches. Uh, sometimes you just can't fix stupid, can you? Um, anyway, uh, let me just get right at this. This is just going to be short and sweet. Uh, there was this uh, lady that posted about repentance. She just posted the, uh, a verse straight from the Word of God. You know, not uh, not cherry picking, not not uh, uh, misquoting. She just specifically gave the exact words, and that's all she gave was just that verse. And uh, some knucklehead felt like he needed to uh, comment on that and said, "Would you please give me the uh, definition to repent and be specific?" And I thought, "How about I be specific for you, there, bub?" Get a dictionary. You're commanded to study. Look it up, genius. Uh, how many times has repentance been preached on over the years? How many times have many of us given clear definition to the word repentance? How many times have we walked you through Scripture, giving you verse after verse, dealing with the subject of repentance? Why are there so many dingbats out there that have to post something, well, what is the definition of repentance, and please be specific. Thinking, good grief, if you're going to be lazy, how about you go lay down somewhere before you hurt yourself, or get off your lazy butt and study as you're commanded to do. But you know what it amounts to is someone that was just waiting for that young lady to comment and give a definition, so that way they could find something to argue about. Uh, you know what? I, I've had enough of, of morons. Uh, either you want to know the Word of God or you don't. If you don't, like I said, go lay down somewhere before you hurt yourself. Just go play with your little tinker toys or your little blocks. Sit in your little uh, safe space uh, with your little liberal college friends. And, uh, you know, play with your matchbox toy, whatever. Something so you don't overload your little pea brain. Uh... Yeah, as you can tell, yeah, I'm kind of riled up, but, you know, stupid remarks like that just kind of do that. Uh, it, it is not hard uh, to understand what the Lord is saying when you got clear scripture on it. So, uh, anyway, uh, you know, that's that's what I wanted to mention. I, I, I just want to encourage all of you, remember that the English the King James Bible is written in is not the English we speak today. So don't go look these words up in a modern day dictionary. Uh, just a, a bit of advice to you. Go buy your Noah Webster's 1828 dictionary. It is keyed right to the King James Bible. And uh, if, if there are those of you that say, well, I'm not going to spend money on that. Well, let me help you out again. There is an app that is free. Yeah, there's a four-letter word that most people like to hear. Free. So download it and then look the word up. So uh, anyway, <laughs> instead of me uh, ranting on and on, I want to encourage you all just to be faithful to study, you know, and, and preachers. Uh, would you remember that you're dealing with a lot of dingbats out here? You're dealing with a lot of people that are lost as well. Uh, and don't have a clue when it comes to, to spiritual matters. What in the world are you as a preacher posting uh, open questions for lost people to try to answer? I mean, lost people that do not have the Spirit of God and you're expecting them to answer uh, questions that are spiritually discerned. When the Bible says they're spiritually discerned and they cannot know truth. Preacher, that just tells me some things. I mean, either you just don't care what you're doing and you just want to run that mouth, or you're not in the Bible and aware 
that it's not wise to ask uh, lost people spiritual questions um, when God says he's not the author of confusion. So why in the world do you do that sort of thing? I mean, you, you throw out, well, you know, what's the Bible have to say about repentance? What's about, how do you get saved? And you're getting all these goofy answers from goofy people. Well, what's that causing? Confusion, because other lost people that are reading those remarks, now they don't know which one of you to trust. So just let me encourage you. Please just stick to the Word of God. Uh, be a blessing to those around you. You know, be faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Word of God. Be a faithful witness, you know, and, and study to show thyself approved. Anyway, like I said, I'm rant for today. Um, just everybody be safe out there, and I, I hope all of you just have a wonderful evening and a wonderful time with your families, and may God bless you all. Amen.